Good morning. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. The Philippine Red Cross plans to push through its COVID-19 mass testing on Wednesday next week, April 8. They will conduct their first testing in Quezon City, which has now more than 450 confirmed cases. All gathered specimens from PUIs and PUMs will be processed in their Mandaluyong office. Philippine Red Cross Chairman and Senator Richard Gordon said local government units will shoulder the expenses for the testing. After Quezon City, the Philippine Red Cross will conduct mass testing in Taguig, San Juan, Manila, Pasig and Makati. The mayor's role is to make sure that they have people who know how to do the swab. Okay, so that kukunin na lang namin ang ambulance, dadalhin dito the testing in Mabilis. Okay. We can do about a thousand tests a day. But siguro eventually we'll get better. We'll have, uh, we can do about 2,500 a day. The Trade Union Congress of the Philippines believes that the country cannot withstand an extension of the enhanced community quarantine in Luzon. TUCP says that the cash assistance from the government will not be enough to support families of the working class in the coming weeks or months. The union also warns officials on the adverse effects of enhanced community quarantine in the economy. They believe that workers' morale should be taken into consideration if the government plans to extend the quarantine. At kaugnay po ng balitang yan, umaaray na ang ilang residente ng Maynila dahil sa kakulangan ng ayuda mula sa lokal na pamahalaan. Ayon sa mga residente ng Barangay 330 sa Santa Cruz, pili lang ang binibigyan ng relief tax sa kanilang lugar. Ang iba naman, isang beses pa lang daw nakatanggap ng ayuda mula sa barangay. Aminado naman ang kapitan ng barangay na limitado lang ang kanilang relief tax. Kaya hiling niya sa mga nasasakupan, magtiis muna habang naghihintay sila ng pondo. Pag naiintas ko po yun, baka po Saturday o Sunday may bake na po sa kanila. Ang sa akin lang po, konting tiis po, lahat tayo biktima rito. Maghintay lang po sila, lahat sila magkakaroon. Pinuri naman ng netizens ang isang pulisan ng Nueva Ecija na namimigay ng relief goods na binili niya gamit ang sariling pera. Mga senior citizen, PWDs at mga nawalan ng trabaho ang tinutulungan ni Police Staff Sergeant Ryan De La Cruz sa Science City sa Munoz. Ilan sa mga ipinamimigay ng pulis ay bigas, mga delata at iba pang grocery items. Sa ngayon, nakapagtala na ng 25 kaso ng COVID-19 ang Nueva Ecija. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine in Luzon. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Cheryl Kwasim. We are One News.